Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. And I just got a message from Irish that this Wednesday message, uh, week 50, all right? is Wednesday message number 500, guys. 500. Freaking 500 Wednesdays. I, I don't know. I'm so emotional. I'm shocked that I've done this for this long. It's, it's, and I, and I straight away took out my calculator before getting on this Wednesday message. And I, and I calculated, you know, 500 messages divided by 52. That's nine and a half years. So from the time that I did this, which was meant to be a follow through video to VCon, and it just never stopped. And it got, went on and on and on. And now being number 500. So this is 500 weeks. And I'm looking back and out of this 500 weeks, there's only been, I think, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, where I was somewhere doing something and Irish had to basically extract a video of mine from VCon or old video, or whatever, and put it as a Wednesday message. Now, before I even do my 500th Wednesday message, let me express from the bottom of my heart my gratefulness and say thank you to all of you because the reason that I keep doing this every Wednesday or Tuesday, and now it's like, you know, three in the morning on Wednesday for 500 weeks, nine and a half years, the number one reason is all of you, all my downlines around the world, all the warriors of Japa and Dato Sri BJ, our amazing V family. You are the reason I don't stop. You are the reason why I keep doing it. For some reason or another, it seems to have benefited you guys and helped you guys go through this difficult, challenging, beautiful journey of financial freedom with QNET and the V. And I decided that I'm going to continue and continue and do it. And I made a promise to a lot of people. And I'm making a promise to each one of you uh, watching this Wednesday message that I won't stop as long as I'm capable of speaking and capable of holding up my iPad or putting it somewhere, I will not stop this Wednesday message. And on this celebration of 500 freaking weeks, I first want to do an amazing expression of gratitude to all of you. All right, thank you. To Dato Sri Vijay and Japadas Bismarck, my mentors and uplines. Uh, to Irish, Claire, um, the editors, John, all right, uh, John's team, the, the people who put subtitles on my Wednesday message, all right, to, to Dawood and the whole team of the V who basically um, uploads it on VTube and you guys who plagiarize it and put it on YouTube, all right, and, and, and I just want to say thank you. <laughs> I love you guys so much, all right, and this, this Wednesday message, I was just thinking before putting on the iPad, I said, oh my God, 500, what do I talk about? And I said, are you going to do something special? All right? Well, there's supposed to be a cake, but uh, I'm not in Kuala Lumpur. So finding a cake at three in the morning is not going to be possible. But let's imagine there's a cake. Imagine we are celebrating 500 weeks of, I pray, messages that reached you the wisdom of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay that I hope I manage to translate in a way and language that you guys understand. And on this Wednesday message, I want to speak to you from my heart, like I always do. And I found this song called Interstellar by Hans Zimmerman, 
from the movie Interstellar. I don't know why it's a piano rendition or something like that. And I told Irish just play it for my 500th Wednesday message somewhere in the background. I hope you can hear it. Now this is me, Patma Silan Senati Raja, the son of Patma Vadi, my mom, Senati Raja, my father. All right, and I'm speaking to you as one person to as many people out there who is willing to listen. All right. And today, let me share with you the truth of the truth of the truths. You see, I have come to realize that life was complicated. And now I have clarity. And I want to share this clarity with you. Because only when you find this clarity, only when you understand this clarity, that I was lucky enough to find on this journey that you actually start living life. Because, you know, I heard somewhere that you have two lives, all right? And your second life begins when you realize you only have one. And if there's one thing I've realized in 40 over years of my existence on this planet, that we spend too much time stressing out about the stupid things, about things that don't matter. We empower too many people to have ridiculous control on our lives, our dreams, our journey. That we forget so many people who got us where we are today, that we are naturally inclined to be ungrateful, that falling in love is so much more powerful than you can ever comprehend. But staying in love requires so much more great effort than ever before. And today I want to share three truths, three truths with you that has helped me live my life. And I don't know how you're going to accept it, how you're going to receive it. But on this 500 message of my Wednesday message, let me speak to you. Let me speak to you from my heart and listen carefully. Whether you are a young person who's just starting this journey with us, whether you are a man or woman with great wisdom of so many years, it's just me, Patman, all right? Don't ask me how I understand things. Don't ask me how I acquire knowledge. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a philosopher. I'm just a guy, all right, who views life very differently, who've been blessed with great mentors and teachers, who have been knocked down so many freaking times that I've got up so many times, I get up again, get up again, that I've garnered some level of experience, all right, through some tough times and good times. And I know that I can share them with you and I hope that it benefits you, all right? The first truth that I want to share with you, that the ultimate search in life is many things, and I agree with you, many things, from material things to emotional things to, to stuff, right? For recognition or, or importance or whatever. But I have come to realize that the ultimate search in life is only one thing, that's your happiness. And don't let the world define it. Don't let anyone control it. Don't give it away for stupid reasons to stupid people. That there's one God-given right that you have since the day you were born to live life on your own terms and to find your happiness. And your happiness is not my happiness. My happiness is not your happiness. There's no such thing as freaking collective happiness. Happiness is so individual, so powerful, so magnanimous that it can set you on fire to conquer the world but you must be able to define and find your happiness and if it requires you to walk away from someone walk away from something if it requires you to 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 cut off ties with the wrong people if it requires you to make some of the most drastic unpopular decisions that it requires you to to be pushed to a corner, to live in isolation, whatever is required, do it. Because at the end of the day, what truly matters 
is your happiness that you find it. This is the lifelong search that everyone is looking for. So ask yourself, are you truly happy? Find that answer. What, all right? And, and do it. Do as much as what makes you happy because without happiness, nothing in life makes sense. Everything is ridiculous. So find your true happiness. The ultimate search of every living freaking human being is that their own happiness. Whether it's Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, me, anyone, that has been our search. And the fact that our search led us on this path to be networkers, to be uplines to all of you, all right, led to the path that Dato and Japa built this company in 1998. This is also part of their search for happiness, my search for happiness that has put us here. 500 Wednesday messages, you won't believe it, but that's my definition of my happiness, to be able to share and give, but find your happiness, find it, find it, do whatever it takes, make any sacrifice, find it, find your happiness, because that's the ultimate search in life. And as long as you live life every day without you finding your happiness, every hour without you finding your happiness, that hour is wasted. That day is wasted. It is erased from your length of true living life. Right? The only time you actually start living is when you find your happiness. Whatever it can be. That's the first truth. The second truth, you can't make it on your own. It's, 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 it's impossibility. That this journey of life requires you to love, requires you to risk opening your heart. May it be to a mentor, to your mom, to your dad, to your brothers, to your downlines, uplines. You need to learn that this love thing is not a choice. It is mandatory. Because that's why we are here for. We are here to love. And I'm not limiting it only to that romantic love between husband and wife. I'm defining the concept of love. That if you truly want to achieve anything in life, you can't do it alone. It is an impossibility. I never use this word, but you cannot do it alone. That this journey of life requires you to open your heart and let people in. And some of them will hurt you. And some of them will breach your trust. And some of them will stab you in their back. Some of them will be ungrateful to you. Some of them won't appreciate everything you have done. All right, but you just gotta keep loving. You gotta keep opening your heart and let people in. Like I said on my Instagram live, nobody's ever gonna meet your expectation because that's what humanity is about. But you got to keep loving and loving people unconditionally because the minute you put a condition to it, it is no longer love. Love unconditionally. Take whatever shit that comes with that decision take whatever sunshine that comes with the decision and keep going, right? Some will love you back unconditionally. Some will take advantage of you. Some will, you know, disappoint you. But that's life. But it should not stop you from constantly giving love unconditionally. There is nothing that replaces it. If you're incapable of loving the people on your journey, then that journey is fake. Because every journey of life is about love. The most powerful thing in the world. It can move mountains. It can help morons with a dream max out. It can help you conquer your fears, conquer the world. That love is more powerful than anything. Believe in it. Love unconditionally. Do not draw lines of family, children, husband, wife, father, mother, love 
unconditionally. If you see a difference between two people because of blood, you are moronic because there's one lesson I've learned in my years of living here. One thing I've learned from Japa, Dato Sri, my mother especially, blood is not always thicker than water. I have relationships where water is thicker than blood. So love, love unconditionally. And just keep loving. And the third, you see, at some point, you have to recognize one important fact, that all the answers you seek, all the solutions, staying glued on TikTok and YouTube Reels and, and Instagram Reels, listening to the great ones out there tell you things, but if you really consciously stop Listen, you know it, you knew it, you have always known it. Every answer you seek, the answer is within you, you know it. The only mistake you make is you have not pushed all that bullshit aside to be able to get that clarity. Every answer you truly seek, you already know. Everything Dato told me for 24 years, when I think back today, I say, shit, he was right. Exactly. He said, I knew it. I knew I knew he was going to say it. I knew it. I knew it. That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Oh my God. You know all the answers. They're too arrogant. Too caught up with the daily bullshit of life. Too full cup. To see the answers that lie within you. And I'm telling you, if you want to succeed in any aspect of life, the answers lie within you. You just got to push everything aside and you will find the answers. You will see it with crystal clear clarity. And my third truth is that anything you want to achieve in life, if there's one answer I found, it requires tremendously painful consistent sacrifice that nothing is going to come easy don't listen to the success stories of people who are already successful who have forgotten the sacrifices that they had to make to get where they are and as long as you have it with you the tenacity to make these sacrifices like I have and today you see me here as your chief, as your upline, representing Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, you have no freaking idea the pain, the sacrifices, the things we had to give up to achieve what we have today. But that's the answer I found, that nothing is going to be easy. Nothing at all is going to be easy, but you require to make great sacrifice. And the minute you are not willing to, if you are if you are too attached to what you need now without understanding what you need in 10 years and you're not willing to pay the price, consistently make the sacrifice till tears in your eyes, you know, to the point where life makes no sense because it's so painful. If you're not willing to make that kind of sacrifice, then don't expect the kind of results you really want. Because there's one answer I found within when I got clarity that any form of greatness you seek any form of reward you seek any form of recognition you seek any form of financial freedom you seek will require with absolute certainty great consistent sacrifice and paying the price. And all you have to do is shut up, pay the price, work hard, never give up. So on this 500th Wednesday message, those are my three truths. Wake up. Smell the coffee. This is our time. And my final, final message to all of you guys. I'm sorry it's a bit longer than usual. I believe in this fundamentally. 
there are no mistakes in the master plan. A single blade of grass cannot move without his will. I love you guys. Thank you for watching me all these Wednesdays. Thank you for believing me. Thank you for everything. I'm eternally grateful because you define me. I love you. I love you guys so much. All right? And I do this 500 times, nine and a half freaking years because I love you. Because of my loyalty to Japa and Dr. Sri, Vijay. Because of my love for my mother. And I'll keep doing it, whether you like it or not. It's coming every Wednesday, guys. So thank you. I love you guys. Three hundred weeks of making a difference. And making this four hundred Wednesday message is so emotional to me that I am proud today that I'm getting closer and closer to making Dato Sri Vijay's vision a reality of touching a billion hearts.